taking a break from unpacking and organizing we're gonna go down to the store pick up some some kind of meat we've got a problem the truck license plates were stolen we need to go to the police department fill out a police report get the receipt from that go back to the DMV and pay $20 or whatever it is fill out another form and get new plates. Just left the Guam Police Department and we hit another roadblock. They will not take a report unless they see the truck. So, the truck's on the base, which means I gotta go back, put my Texas license plates back on the truck, drive the truck down here, and then continue. So at least now I have answered the question. I wonder what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm on the way to the police department to make a police report about my stolen license plates. And then it's off of the DMV again. All right, we stopped by the police department, filed the police report, and we got a case number. So hopefully that's good enough for the DMV. Scored some Guam plates again. Let's see if I can keep them a little longer this time. On the way back, I had to stop by and get some more fish from the fish pan. Buying fish from the fish guy probably isn't the cleanest, most sanitary way to buy fish, but at $3.50 a pound for the freshest mahi-mahi and bluefin tuna, I think it's worth it. And besides, little dirty fish never hurt no one. So here's the dilemma. Yesterday I bought a brisket, five bucks a pound. So you can only imagine how much that monster cost. No more cheap brisket. I was gonna cook it today, but I had to do this license plate thing, so I kind of put that operation on hold. So I'm doing the brisket tomorrow. We plan to have fish tonight. We scored some pompano when we got the brisket. We weren't quite sure whether we were gonna do the pompano thing or go all out and have some of our mahi and tuna that we bought last time. So back to the dilemma. Do we eat the stuff that was caught yesterday or do we thaw out the stuff in the freezer and eat that first I'm leaning towards eating the stuff that was caught yesterday oh and just a quick tip if you do have a Filipino wife and you're thinking to yourself you want to score some brownie points by stopping by the roadside flower cart and getting her some flowers don't bother instead Stop by the roadside fish guy and get her some fresh mahi and tuna. Flowers are nice, but if you want to push it over the top, like I said, bring her home some fresh fish. At some point in life, there's a few questions that you have to ask yourself. And one of those questions is, what kind of a grill defines me as a person? And I think I've answered that question for myself. Weber Performer 22 inch kettle. You were wondering if there was another reason why I got this grill. Yeah, there is, as a matter of fact. This will smoke a whole brisket, and this will smoke a whole belly of bacon. 
that's where the Weber kettle grill comes into play. But this will allow me to put another grate right here up top. So I can either smoke two racks or I can smoke bacon and salmon up here. We got the Weber fired up. It's working good. Really good. We've set up shop here in the carport. And you know, it's really not that bad. I don't know. You have to jump all the way. Uh, this isn't exactly a uh, white sand beach sunset or anything, but. I'm going to show you how to jump. What do you expect, right? Still got palm trees. You still got a nice breezy 80 degrees. Can't complain. I guess I could complain, but what do we need? Now I just realized it wouldn't be Christian of me to uh, not show you what we're grilling up here. Anna's got her bombano grilling up, and then of course we gotta cook up some of that fresh mahi mahi. Would you? Uh... Okay, so you marinated this and. Teriyaki, lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and she's drinking her uh, Cabernet 7 Up. I'm drinking my 3.5% Amstel Light 2 dollars a six pack beer. And now, fish talk. Yeah, when you when, when you go to the big fat sea cucumber, it made you a baby, and it was and it was like a flower. Right. And then, uh, you know, what? he was trying, he was crying like a little girl, and then I was, and then I was crying, that made me cry, and then um um mm -hmm. and that you when you when I'm you not laughing, not and your mom was laughing, I laughed too, and I was like this. Like a, Why was Nino funny? He cried like a little girl. <laughs> That's true, you're crying like a little girl. <laughs> this is the Pampano. You can see what's left of one of them. We haven't even jumped into the other one yet. This fish is insanely mm. delicious. It tastes like it was wrapped in bacon. It really needs to be a law that you cannot eat mm. fish that's not fresh. This stuff is just incredible. I love my antique milk glass hobnail lamps. Old school. 60 watt bulb. You need just a little light. If you need a lot of light, if you need a really lot of light.